Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Friday afternoon, 4 p.m., March 2nd, 2018. The sun is shining. Woohoo! And what a great day. What a great afternoon at this site that we're going to uh, uh, cut the ribbon and, and dedicate today. Thank you all for being here. What a wonderful crowd and what a wonderful uh, support. We'll talk more about support in a little while. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, uh, have Father uh, John Harth, uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, uh, chaplains of our police department, to come uh, and give us the opening prayer. Father? Forgive me for taking a, let me take a moment of personal privilege, if you will. <laughs> Last week, when I walked through the old station, I was surprised to be swept by a wave of nostalgia because I was working for KFES 12 when that station was built and covered it and spent a lot of time in there with Chief Garrick and what have you, but this is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray. Lord God, as your sun shines upon us and warms us on this spring day, or almost spring day, help us to appreciate your goodness, help us to offer you proper praise and thanks, bless those who have made this new building possible, help those who walk through the court side to be handled with justice and integrity. May those who are held in the cells be brought to a change of heart to follow your ways. Please, please be with those who serve and protect as they wander in and out of this facility. Bless them, guide them, protect them. If that's you, Lord, I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> May your blessing upon, come upon all gathered here and all who will be here for the next however many years. Thank you. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, a lot of nostalgia. We all remember uh, North, uh, North Brick and all the years and all the, uh, all the uh, activities that went on there and then the add-on of the of the uh, modulars and, and, and the cramped spaces and, and poor working conditions for our employees, for those who frequent the, uh, the old building. That is now officially history. Again, welcome to everybody uh, this afternoon for this, uh, this event. I want to uh, take a few minutes and recognize uh, the council that are with us behind me, Councilman Bob Fox, uh, Victor Gunn, Joe Azuro, uh, Danny Esner. Um, I didn't see Shelley Moore yet, and I didn't see Robbie Gard yet. Here yet, on the way. Um, I'd like to also uh, recognize uh, SR here, uh, Representative Kathy Swan. Kathy, thank you for all you do and being here uh, with us today. Um, <laughs> Mayor Dwayne Hawes from uh, from Jackson. What a great supporter and what a great team, great team player as we grow our communities uh, together. Um, John Maynard, uh, director of our uh, Chamber of Commerce and also director of our Economic Development uh, Wing, uh, Magnet. Uh, Deputy uh, City Manager Molly Maynard. And of course we'll hear from Chief Blair and we'll hear from uh, City Manager uh, Scott Meyer, as we uh, as we proceed, this is uh, another proof to all that our staff and our council, uh, through the years, have been and continue to be uh, very supportive uh, of public safety, very aware of public safety within our within our community, and we will continue to be. We will continue to be. We also would not be here today on this site if it wasn't for all of our citizens. Our citizens have meant so much to us, and this has been uh, a, a part of our community, uh, public safety, uh, in addition to uh, streets with TTF, uh, parks and uh, stormwater with parks and recreation that our citizens have continued to uh, support 
uh, staff and council as we go through and do projects to improve the quality of life and assure the quality of life uh, in our city. That citizen support and the vote that was a yes vote um, in the last public safety vote, um, where is Kevin Greaser? Kevin Greaser chaired that committee along with a, a lot of others, but uh, Kevin, thank you for your leadership uh, in, uh, in making that uh, happen as, as you went along. We got so many citizens that take a leadership role and, and work uh, diligently in our community to make our community a better place in which to live. This is a much needed building as we said before and everyone knows that it is. But most in police work, most of the police work will be done not in this building but around our city. We're very centrally located now. It's a great location. Uh, we had the property. Um, we had great and skilled consultants and architects that ended this building that you're going to see as you walk through it uh, in the, in the uh, minutes ahead. And also I'd like to take a minute to thank on behalf of myself and I'll take the opportunity to say on behalf of all of our citizens to thank our, all of our officers and staff of our police department they put their safety online and at risk 24-7 to protect us. And there are a lot of them here. And with anyone with our Cape Girardeau Police Department, and then we see some adjoining uh, uh, county. And, and, and so anyone in law enforcement, raise your hand. We need to give them a round of applause. is hard at work. Uh, please, under the leadership of Chief Blair, hard at work to work on lowering violent crime in our city. It is an issue. We all recognize that and we're working, uh, working diligently to, uh, we live in a dangerous world uh, and it, it's not uh, just in other big cities and it's not just on the coast, it's not just around, but it's in our city. So we thank all of the, and everyone for, for all of the efforts that they are undertaking. I'd like to introduce now our city manager, uh, uh, Scott Meyer, who has uh, some thank yous and also some recognition. Scott, who has been so, uh, so important in this whole process. Scott. Well, thank you, and I uh, will won't take up a lot of time. I just want to uh, recognize our uh, partnerships that we've had throughout this entire process. Uh, if we go back to Kevin and his committee and going out and spending time in uh, a lot of different social uh, clubs and, and presentations, really talking about how can we pay for a new facility? How can we pay for not only a police facility, but uh, needs in the, in the fire department and others? And, uh, and as the mayor said, uh, there was a, uh, a positive reaction from our community as they came and voted in a positive way for uh, public safety and, and for this, this facility. Um, then we, then we uh, were looking for a site and, and this site became available as a reserve facility. We looked at it and said, oh, well, this would be a great thing to convert and, and really would make a huge difference. And, uh, and, and then we took on a new process, relatively new process, design, build, and, and brought, uh, uh, chose a team of uh, Chiodini and, and Kiefner to come and, and do the design, build. And, th and they said to us, as, as well as our staff, and said, no, it's, it's not the right thing to just convert. And they pointed out all the, all of the, the uh, shortcomings of that. And so we, we listened and changed that. And that, of course, provided other uh, challenges, but when they put the design uh, build team together, which included all of our staff as well as the people on the court side, people on the police side, uh, people, uh, jail uh, folks that uh, were uh, uh, had ideas and, and uh, consultants, as well as um, uh, you know the, the ability to build it, they came and, and 
showed us how they could uh, make the space operate so much more efficiently and effectively uh, regarding the uh, proximities and things like that. And uh, I think you'll find that the facility uh, is everything that uh, they said it would be. And it came in within the budget that we had, which is a huge challenge uh, to do. But it really came because we involved uh, people up and down and throughout the ranks of what they really needed to do their job. Because really, that's really what it comes down to. A building's a building, but it's really about doing our job for the citizens of Cape Girardeau. And we have people, as the mayor alluded to earlier, we have public servants throughout our entire organization, throughout, uh, and certainly in this case in court and police, that are committed to making Cape Girardeau better through making our people and our operations better. And, and that only happens through, through the people. I get the privilege right now of recognizing one of those leaders, and that is our chief, uh, uh, Wes Blair, who came to us um, three, four years ago? Almost five, Almost five years ago. Five years ago. When we interviewed Wes, he said, he told us about, he had, had been a part of a new building in Lancaster, Texas, and, uh, and we thought, well, maybe sometime in his entire tenure, maybe if he stays a long time, maybe we'll be able to use that. Well, the citizens said, no, it's now. And, uh, and good for us. But we have an incredible leader who has, on many fronts, made our, our, uh, our police department better, more effective, more efficient in what they do. And this is just part of that. So I'm asking you to show him your appreciation, not only for him, but the people that he represents. West Blair. Thank you all very much for that. Um, you know, when I came here almost five years ago and uh, started meeting the staff and the police officers here, I thought two things really. One, wow, this is probably the greatest group of police officers and civilian staff I've ever had the opportunity to work with. And wow, this is probably the worst building I've ever worked in. <laughs> um, especially the first time that it was raining outside and I had to go to the restroom and it was raining inside the restroom, maybe even harder than it was outside. Um, but you know, and we did some, some series of open houses because we wanted the community, I, I really wanted the community to see the, the working conditions that uh, the people who put their lives on the line for them every day work in and still maintain the level of professionalism and courtesy that they did. Um, and that's, that is what blew me away about our staff. Um, and that's one of the things that's gonna be really cool for, for me to personally get to watch from the inside, but for citizens to see from the outside is because buildings do affect morale. Um, and we had a department that had really good morale and I just can't wait to see what that does. I and mean, then that morale affects the way that they deal with citizens on the street. It affects every aspect of the job they do. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's been fun to watch officers as they've come through the building and just looking around going, wow, I would have never thought that this was going to happen. And uh, and even I, you know, I, I've gone through a building project in, in the past and, and this blows that away. Um, just the, 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 when you see the inside, you'll, you'll see that it's such an amazing facility uh, that I couldn't believe that we were able to accomplish what we accomplished and stay on budget. And uh, that's, that's a testament to our architectural and uh, contractor team, Kiefner and, and Chiadini. Um, Tom wasn't going to let us go over budget even if I wanted to. Um, and if any of y'all play poker, don't play with Tom because he never smiles or frowns. So you never knew where he stood with him, uh, but uh, you knew that things were taken care of. And that's one of the keys, I think, to constructing a good, solid building is having a really good team. And I couldn't have asked for a better team than what we had with, with Kiefner and Kiaditi. They made the process so smooth. Um, it, you know, when, when I would call them with a, a hiccup or something, I'm like, uh, you know, and I was thinking, I'm almost embarrassed to even mention this because it's really not a big deal. Uh, but, uh, and, and I've been in building projects where you were calling on big deals, and uh, so it was it was very pleasant and refreshing to get to work with such a professional team uh, that put that together. And uh, I, I, this building is just going to allow us to serve our citizens even better than than what we have in the past uh, with the new technology, the efficiencies that we have in this building. And uh, so we are very thankful to you, our citizens, 
for making this happen because without the citizens um, supporting us and supporting the need for this, uh, this wouldn't have been possible. And so really, y'all are the ones that deserve the round of applause for, for making this happen. So can we do that? So what, what we're going to be doing is we're moving today. Um, and so it is in total disarray inside. So we are not doing really public tours today, but we are going to be doing some open houses in the before the end of this month over, and we're going to make some decisions on when those days are. We're going to do a weekday open house and a weekend open house so that we can get all the public in here. Um, and so we'll, we'll have the opportunity to really show that building off when, when we do that. Um, but I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out. And with that, I think I will turn it back over to the mayor.